Good afternoon, Butler family. I pray all is well with you on this Wednesday. I'm coming before you to let you know that we're going to pause on Bible study this week and we're going to pick up again next week. And I'm going to tell you why we're going to pause in the in the course of our short time together right now. So we're moving out of our study on the book of Psalms and we're moving into the Gospel of Mark. And as we go into the Gospel of Mark, we're going to be getting into some very classical Christian doctrines. What do I mean? So one of the things that we're going to be studying in the Gospel of Mark is how the Gospels, um, all of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they have this in common, but particularly in the Gospel of Mark, how the Gospels bring a climax to the whole of the story that we see in the Old Testament. And in order to understand the Gospel of Mark and the Gospels in general, we're going to have to have a clear understanding of what narrative the Old Testament is telling and how the Gospels are responding to that. So in studying the Gospel of Mark, one of the things that we're going to do is look at an overview, an overarching view of the story that the Old Testament is telling. So we can have a better understanding and hear what Mark is trying to tell us um, as it pertains to how Jesus brings this story to its climax. Number two, another thing that we're going to be looking at in the Gospel of Mark is we're going to be unpacking how God saves us. And I want us to take a closer look at how our specifically our triune God saves us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Some of you have been asking about the Trinity. You want to know more about the nature of God as we proclaim Him in the Christian faith as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. One God in three persons. And one of the best places to look at, examine, and get a better understanding of the nature of God's being, the nature of God's triune being is in the Gospels. So in the Gospel of Mark, we're going to be talking about how God and His triune nature saves us. So number one, number two, and now on to number three. One of the important things that I want us to understand about the Gospels is what exactly is a gospel. So you may have heard that the word gospel etymologically just means good news. But when we put this word gospel back into its first century context, the context of Jesus and all the apostles, all the apostles, we see that it means good news, but so much more. The word gospel has a very contextual meaning in the world that Jesus, Paul, Matthew, John, all the disciples were living in. And when we understand what a gospel is, then we can understand the type of story that the gospels are trying to tell us. All right, so as we are going into the book of Mark, we are going to be getting into, as I said, some classical Christian theology. And instead of us um, looking at this book, in just a piecemeal way, pericope by pericope, I want all of us to come to Bible study having read through the Gospel of Mark. It's our shortest gospel, and here's a tidbit, it's the first gospel that's written, or at least most scholars today believe that it is the first gospel that was written. So we're pausing for Bible study this week, but that doesn't mean you don't have any homework or any Bible study to do tonight. What I want you to do between now and next week is read through the Gospel of Mark. It's very short. Get a feel for its message on your own. Get a feel for its rhythm on your own so that when we come back together next week, we're all um, in one accord and we have a general sense of what Mark is saying before we do a deep dive into what Mark is saying and a deep dive into the gospel that we as Christians proclaim and why we proclaim God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God in three persons. So read through the gospel of Mark between 
now and next week so that when we come back together on next Wednesday and we're starting to jump into this, we're all starting from the same place together. All right. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. See you until we meet again. I almost forgot. Very important reason, a very important reason that we're studying the Gospel of Mark is because in our church calendar, we have Trinity Sunday coming up and we have Pentecost Sunday coming up. And one of my goals for us as Bible study students, as people who are taking God's word seriously, is to not only come to these worship services and celebrate Pentecost and celebrate the Trinity, but to have an understanding so that we can worship God by our heart, soul, strength, and our mind. So we want to get an understanding as to why we celebrate Trinity Sunday and Pentecost Sunday, Pentecost being the time where we celebrate um, the coming of the Holy Spirit upon the whole of God's people. All right, so I'm excited about the Gospel of Mark. I can't wait to dive into it and everything that we're going to get into. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.